This is the 100% shiny locations for fighting Pokemon in the Teal Mask DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you're looking for any specific Pokemon, make sure to check out the timestamps that are over here and in the description, as well as checking out the playlist for any shiny Pokemon type that you may need in the Teal Mask. Or if you're picking up Scarlet and Violet for the first time, we have an entire playlist for the main base game if you didn't see that. To get started on your fighting sandwich, you're going to need a pickle and two salty Herba Mysticas. Feel free to comment down below a different recipe that doesn't just use salty herbas i appreciate everyone writing those comments down below if you did this right you should have sparkling power fighting level three and encounter power fighting level three and in order to do the double home zoom in trick make sure to go ahead and hit the home menu go to your settings go all the way down to system and make sure to go ahead and turn on the zoom over here that way when you double tap home you should be able to zoom in on any difficult to see pokemon let's get hunting all right so this is going to be really interesting so if you go north of the fellhorn gorge and go straight up in this area which is the kitakami wilds pretty much you're gonna be getting a ton of lucario spawning oh this is really awesome to see that they do have this many lucarios and being able to identify lucarios shiny should be pretty easy as it's just literally a yellow color compared to the blue color and uh you can picnic reset for these guys it's really simple because they're just everywhere in this area but something really cool to note is that once it turns nighttime and dust starts to set in well guess what else spawns in this area check this out in this footage over here you can see that there are actually galades spawning here at nighttime which makes this absolutely insane and Gallade is going to be a third evolution of Ralt that is going to need an evolution stone so if you want to avoid all that you just have to come here and hunt for that at nighttime and the cool part is it's going to be a blue shiny so you'll be able to easily identify it but how cool is that that they actually put these two together seeing two final evolution Pokemon running around like that they're pretty dope good fighting types I think this is such a good spawn area for them. The next Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be Mean Fu. Now, Mean Fu is going to be a pretty easy Pokemon because it's shiny. It's just going to be blue. And this is what its evolution is going to look like. Now, in order to hunt this Pokemon, all you have to do is head over to this location on the map. So from Wisteria Pond, you can come over here or from the Loyalty Plaza. Just come down to this spot here. Once you're here, you're just going to see a bunch of them just spawned out over here. So feel free to open up a pick or you can just run back and forth and despawn a group of them out. Here's the shiny that I caught in Pokemon Violet while hunting in it. And the cool thing is uh, my Pokemon Violet's actually locked to nighttime because I haven't finished the main story in that. So a lot of the shiny hunts you'll see that I catch there are in Violet are, are at nighttime for that reason, which actually helps a lot with some hunts. So good luck getting yourselves a mean foo because their spawn location is insane over here. If you want shiny luck like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button as it does help out and let me know which shiny I should do next the next pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be timber now timber is going to have two locations that i really like shiny hunting the first one is going to be all the way up at the top of kitikami hall as you go to the top step this is going to be a town reset method so you get a bunch spawning over here and all you have to do is simply just back up and go forward and the shiny actually is a lot easier to identify it feels like a little bit more of a saturated version of it so it's definitely going to stand out from the regular ones even though it may not seem like it and if you're coming in and out and you doubt anything just make sure to zoom in by double pressing the home button to make your life a lot easier but you can see you get a bunch spawning out here so it should be pretty easy just to quickly go in and out and spawn an entire group over here now talking about the second location well if you don't want to do the town spawn it's really simple we just actually have to just go all the way up further on this mountain towards the infernal pass once you arrive here just head over to this direction and not up the mountain and you're just going to get a bunch of more timbers spawning over here so this is another great location where you do get a massive amount of them showing up on these sides. So if you want to despawn them or picnic reset when you have a good amount in your sights, you can do that. Another location that you can go ahead and hunt timber is going to be all over the Paradise Baron. This place is filled with them when you have the fighting sandwich and it's the only Pokemon that spawns. So it's another place that you can go hunt it as well. It's crazy how many spawns are actually in this area. Like, look at all of them. You should be able to easily do a picnic reset in order to get new ones to spawn. So good luck hunting your timber, and hopefully you can grab it to evolve it all the way up into its final evolution. The next Pokemon we're going to be hunting is going to be the Mankey, Primeape, and Annihilate family. And for this, you got to head all the way up to the Gracious Stones up north. Now, this is going to be interesting because during the day, the only Pokemon that spawn are going to be Mankey and Primeape. So right in this area, daytime hunting, Mankey, Primeape, this is what the shiny 
coyotes look like uh so you don't miss them a little more on the green end uh for the little mankeys and pretty much just go around this area and this is pretty much going to be the only pokemon that spawns in this entire area now check this out at night time which i was recording in pokemon violet this is where annihilate is going to spawn completely all by itself which is really awesome with the fighting sandwich this also works with the ghost sandwich for annihilate but why not just stay in the same area to hunt annihilate during the night and this is where i caught my shiny annihilate in violet look at that that's the difference in the shiny pretty close and during the day mankey and primeape and get yourself the entire set of the shiny pokemon to finish up your shiny deck so this is the spot let me know if you catch a shiny here okay so if you have the fighting sandwich well i actually forgot about this but heracross is a bug fighting type and if you exit out of the east side of masui town well guess what we're gonna get town spawns uh for heracross which is gonna be right outside to the right of you and look how many spawn here and right over here to left with the bug sandwich they only spawn at bamboo trees but now heracross be spawning everywhere so we can head back just like this right into the town pop back out and you can constantly reset over and over again i think town spawns are going to be the best and fastest method for you to get a heracross i actually like this more than the bug sandwich uh so this one's pretty awesome because it's a huge amount and you cannot miss the pink shiny so this is going to be a great hunt i'm pretty sure a lot of you will get multiple heracross so use that for some trading um so yeah just in and out of the town and you should be good to be on your way with it let me know if you really like the spot because this might be my top spot for heracross way better than paudea all right let's talk about jangma o now uh with the fighting sandwich jangma o does not spawn at all um it usually would spawn in the paradise barrens but in order to get this dragon pokemon that has fighting in it as well you're going to have to use the dragon sandwich so you can go ahead and check out that video uh in order to get it and pretty much this is the spot where it will show up and this is how it looks and its evolution and its third evolution but this place is just filled with them it's the only spot in the game so come over here if you're trying to get a jangma o you know head over to the dragon video to check out more of the dragons there but otherwise uh for some reason the game wanted to spawn timbers here even though timbers are spawned everywhere else in this game and have so many other places so it's weird the spawns are just so weird sometimes now that you've gotten all the fighting shiny pokemon you should check out this video over here